Hello everyone and welcome back to Battleforge's Terrible Guide to RL Craft, the somewhat unpopular Minecraft RL Craft uh, tutorial playthrough thing. <laughs> Still not entirely sure what this kind of is, like is it a guide, is it a playthrough? It's kind of both, I just kind of play it through and tell you what I'm doing and how I think people should approach certain things in this game or mod or whatever you want to call it. Well today is the day where we go a little bit, we do a bit more exploring. Um, we're going to be doing enchanting today, hopefully. Uh, I did a bit of off-time uh, changes, because if you remember last video, uh, we built the enchanting basement. Uh, I've just run around town, stole on everyone's bookshelves, and made the basement look a little bit more pretty. We've even got a cake up here, so which, uh, which is nice. This is already, we get max enchantments when we put stuff in now, which is brilliant for when we go to enchant our weaponry and our armors and stuff. Obviously, we're quite under-leveled, which is okay. Doesn't really matter too much. Uh, we've approached summer, which means crops are now growing, which is going to be our slightly effective way of grinding experience somewhat safely. Great for, you know, just passively generating a bit of XP. Did you just throw a... You didn't have to do that. Bloody glowing bastards making me all... Dead. Look what it's done to my left leg, man. It's like half my leg's been lopped off by a glowing orb. I also stole the uh, enchanting table from the church as well, because I should have taken that initially. But this is good for putting books in if you want, like, sharpness one grinding, because it gives you loads of low-level enchantments instead of uh, some higher ones. Because, as you know, we got a load of sharpness books last time, which we can mash together to get sharpness three, which makes our melee weapons way better, even though we're just using crafted equipment here. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to another battle tower, kind of breeze through that quickly, get the levels we need, uh, maybe get some enchantments. Also, I did a bit of flying around. I did find a dungeon here, which, if it's the right sort of dungeon, means we can hopefully create a disenchanting table and to use that to grind armor enchantments because a lot of monsters that spawn in certain dungeons wear enchanted armor which you can disenchant and then turn into a good armor for yourself. They're very dangerous though, I've never really done one without suffering severe death at least four or five times. Dying is part of the experience. Also my plan to soulbound our uh, rock is also in progress. Just need two more ender pearls. That's all we need, we're nearly there. So we're gonna fly over to that in uh, one of the new battle towers, kill that very quickly. I might not show too much of it because it's pretty standard what we're doing. If you haven't, if you don't know how I do battle towers, Jengu. Kind of glad you spawned and I did need you because now I can combine that with an Aegis to make a nymph which means I can heal myself. Okay with it being nearly night time I'm very quickly just gonna wait until tomorrow and then we're gonna go and do some stuff all right that's the plan. Whilst we wait if you do enjoy this RL Craft series uh, please do consider leaving a like and definitely leave a comment. As I say every video I read all the comments uh, if there's a nice comment I'll reply I'll give you a heart uh, it's really good, they might even pin it, so it's worth a go, it's nice, I enjoy it. Also in top right, if you like other videos that I do, uh, that you can check out my latest one up there, or something I recommend, so top right, click you there, follow a video, during or after this video. Okay, next morning, we're gonna quickly travel over to my recent discoveries of Battle Towers, I found quite a few looking for a dungeon, and hopefully they're gonna have, uh, what do you call it, Ender Pearls. I haven't bumped into a dragon yet either, so uh, now I've said that I am, but I'm going to do dragons next time. I'm nearly prepared for it, I just need a good enchanted bow, and that's all I need. I've got a rock, a couple arrows, good bow, dead. Dead easy. Oh yeah, that's right, there's also these weird discoveries i found as well. There's this nether tower, I didn't explore this, I've not seen one of these before. Uh, let's just carefully dismount. Don't burn myself or the rock. Lovely. Uh, anything in here? Hello. Ooh, stuff. Okay. Uh, uh, splash of slowness. Lesser bane of arthropods and flinging two. Hey, why not? I'll take it. The rest of that's kind of just pointless. I'll take that splash potion, I guess. And then I think there was a battle tower just over here. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. Didn't do anything with it. I wanted to show all this off in video, so... Usual sort of stuff. Let's just breeze through this quick. Well, they're just we're only down one level, and it's already full of monsters. Not good ones either. Spiders, skeletons, and zombies. So this is a bit of a mix. So, hey, we might get lucky. They might have a Bazoa, and that'll stop you from really 
having issues with anything, really. Classic case of Vegas is being completely useless because they think they can attack through walls. Answer, and fought, shockingly enough, they can't. I have to say, the loot in this one is also being really subpar. Yeah. So far. I mean, it'll get better at the bottom. There's also no real easy way of cheesing the tower golem in these downwards, downward style battle towers. It's still kind of... Oh, berserk quicksand. Great. All right, go on, Aegis. Don't be useless. Got a backpack full of junk as well. It's perfect. Nothing better than a load of absolute arse equipment. Okay, another layer down. Still a load of junk. We're we'll getting there, though. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. I want to get onto enchanting. Probably should talk, maybe, about what sort of enchantments are good. Well, as per standard, really, any default Minecraft sort of enchantments, sharpness, uh, smite, that sort of gubbins. Uh, I'm being... Oh, great. One of these. Yeah, uh, sharpness, smite. Protection, arrow, projectile protection, that kind of crap. Being really had by uh, whatever magic one's in there. Right, get him killed. I've got a loved ones that reflect damage back to you. Right, it doesn't matter too much with these ones that reflect damage. I mean, as long as you keep your upper body bits kind of important, alive. You know, it's all right. Just click, clicky, clicky through the hole, and your levels go up. Mmm, tasty loot. Ah, oh, this could be this. Could, this could generally be the end. No, okay, good. And a darkling. Good news with them. Uh, we do need them because they drop ender pearls. Problem is, I am very not healthy now. That baby zombie hurts a lot. We're having a lot of magic ones, which generally isn't good luck. And we don't really have any healing items either. Yeah, there's another magic one in there. Block just in case it hits back to us. As long as it's not a fiery enchanted one or something, we should be alright. Oh, here's, yeah, they're attacking something. Can you try not to get me too killed by mistake, please? Friendly things. There is a lot of zombies that spawn deeper below. I didn't bring a sleeping bag either, which isn't helping, I don't think. God, we got one have a treat of experience down there. All right, let's very quickly go see how dangerous it is down there. Oh, very. Bloody hell. Alright, okay. I am not going in there until tomorrow. <laughs> uh, the daylight's stopping and so stuff's gonna start spawning more. Get our building up to 12 so we can use an anvil. We need to start investing more into magic because we need to get the disenchanting table. And I am going to go find somewhere safe to you know, store bits like that. Also, we need somewhere to sleep now. And also, the frame rate is dying because I think something, or a lot of something, is spawning. Well, just gonna quickly turn some of this tree hopefully into wood. I need to make a bed. Quick. I always forget to bring sleeping bags and then I end up just making them when I'm out and then I just have a thousand sleeping bags. We did learn how to summon a darkling now though so they're to be fair they're quite decent. Um, they go down, they stick, they're very tiny, they can fit through little gaps, unlike, uh, unlike Aegis's, where they tend to get stuck on everything. Darklings, you can just summon like this, and then they're a bit more persistent, because they stick to bad things. Oh dear, that one's got a lot of equipment. Thank you guys for helping with that one. I finally block that door off, so we can now deal with this stuff. So, I think because it was dark, a lot of really dangerous stuff is spawning deeper below now. Another reason why this lighting technique is good, because it does stop uh, the Lycanite types from spawning as well. Which is good and bad. You know. Yeah, that burnt out that spawner down there. I think they just got such an opportunity because we're not quick enough. But you can't go too fast, because if you're too cocky, uh, you die, basically. But we're nearing the bottom. I'm not really sure how to deal with the Tower Golem as well. I think we're just going to spawn in a load of helpers and literally just have him that way. Nice, right, a couple of darklings down there. Ah! Little bastard, I was trying to make that more easy to punch through. 
Alright, things have stopped spawning, so I think we can probably just rush down as long as not, not too much stuff is in this core. Bloody hell, he had a sword. Are you a good darling? Yeah, you're a good darling. Hearing a lot of nasty sounds, so I think we're approaching the bottom. That's the bottom. Alright, good news is we've reached uh, safety, really. The only thing that can come for us now is banshees through the walls. Alright, we'll make our little opening here. So we can peer down. Luckily, it's not an enchanted tower golem. He's pretty nice. I think <laughs> a lot of scary sounds playing. Uh, the ambience is... Oh. Ah! I shouldn't have done that! I didn't mean to! That was instinct. Yeah, so if you put the chest near the tower golem, he'll get very angry. I mean, I can't blame him. He's just, his job is to keep the tower together. So he's just, pretty, he's just doing his job. I understand. Okay, we'll store what we've got. Uh, we've got unbreaking two bronze hammer... Magic protection. Projectile protection, three. That's really good. These throwable enchantments are all trash unless it's unbreaking. No, it's just sharpened on both of them. Diamonds. Still no ender pearls, though. I'm hoping we maybe get some at the right at the bottom. Got barely any arrows. Super unequipped for down here. Okay, best course of action, I think, is probably going to be Darklings and literally just send them down to tear him to shreds, hopefully. Yeah, he's not coming down. And he's actually slowly destroying the tower himself, so we got to kind of get on and do this, I think. Whoop. Jesus Christ, man. Chill. All right, maximum summon. Go, darkness, go. I'm not sure if they're doing anything. We need to go check. Oh, yeah, they're doing something. Let's hope they're doing enough. Oh, yeah, he's nearly dead. I think we just got to wait for him to finish off, you know. He can't really hit us through the floor, so... We'll just wait for him to die. There we go. Definitely not the engineer from Team Fortress 2 death sound there. Swear to God. He's blown a hole in the stairs and everything. Furious. He doesn't even drop good loot. A couple of diamonds and stuff. Let's just hope these two bottom bits are really worth it. End of pearls. We got what we wanted. Loads of diamonds. Even better. Loads of bottles of experience. Uh, what's this chest slightly above? This one is also end loot. Um... Uh, more diamond stuff, some baubles, and a viper. Th that's good. That's really good because you can put that on uh, bows and stuff and dragons suffer with the, oh, I think, poison maybe? So that's quite nice, actually. All right, yeah, this is fantastic. I think we'll sort through this quickly and uh, then we can do some enchanting. First, though, we dump the black clay and stuff. Are these any good? Because these sometimes they're randomized when you pull them out. That isn't. Uh, don't know what a plain potion ring does. Oh, they are 4% attack damage. That's better than quite literally the nothing that was on this emerald ring. We'll take these bottles of enchanting home with us. We're not gonna we're not gonna use those now. Keep that viper book. We'll take all this. Okay, we just as going through sorting found a nice uh tool belt. Extra bit of health and some magic shielding. Not too shabby. It's getting dark though, and I'm not done sorting yet. I'm running out of time. Checking all these chests for anything worth. Uh good tool belt. Nothing. Pat pouch. Don't think that actually does anything really. All these bits, especially these golden armors and stuff, we can smelt down later on. Can I learn about that ramen? Thank you. Didn't even check this chest. Uh, apart from those golden apples, nothing really worth it. This one, some of that. Uh, yeah, take those. Worried he's getting a bit dark down here. Uh, all of that is junk. It's this last chest at the bottom we need to quickly sort through. And then worst case scenario, I can portal warp out of here. Okay, I'll say that's everything. We've filled our entire inventory full of stuff now. And the rest of this is kind of... We can come back for it if we need it, but the rest of it is mediocre loot anyway. Plus, not going to lie, the dark is starting to worry me a little bit because things are going to start spawning uh, deeper down here regardless. So I'm just going to jump into bed quick uh, as long as nothing's up here. And hopefully we don't die tomorrow when we go enchanting stuff. Okay, we didn't die. Fantastic. All right, we'll go back down, grab that backpack, uh, head back with anything that's of real use to us. Uh, less flame dragging. I like how this has less flame and flame on it. The opposite of punch. No idea what that does. I'll take it. I'll disenchant it. I can take off less of flame. I'm obviously going to take all the silver stuff because we can turn those into glowing ingots, which uh, get the dragon's eye, which... Is quite good. Uh, sea stones, stuff like that. Okay, grabbed literally everything. I've, I, this is the first tower I've done in a while where we've literally left with a full bag and inventory of loot. It's 
little bit overkill. And then we just gotta head back if I can get on my rock. All right, there we go. This will only take a few seconds. Oh, flying back. That is definitely a dragon. Uh, I'll keep note of his location because we could kill him later. When you're on a rock, I find that dragons tend to ignore you a little bit more until you attack them or you get super close. So, eh, we'll just avoid him. This is the tower we found last time, which, yes, I know, there's diamond armor underneath it. We just don't need it at the moment. I did, I marked it, you can see. See, is it we fly away? Yeah, that dragon's a bit close to home. Certainly nothing to worry about. It's not gonna fly this far to deal with us. We're well out of its, <laughs> like, loading distance anyway. Um, dragons are next time, because we're get enchanting our gear now, hopefully. Right, rock, stay it. I'm gonna very quickly make that soul stone for you. Just dump all this in here for a second. Okay, we need this, this, diamonds, that, and then we just smack that in there with them. A couple of these diamonds, and there we go, soul stone. Now we right click you, and you're ours forever. Thank you, Mr. Rock. You are dismissed for now. So even if he dies, he'll come back now. So we don't need that cage per se. Right, now the fun bit. Let's do some enchanting. Now, I discovered that I, I might be wrong on this, but bows tend to do the dam same amount of damage no matter which ones you use. Because if you look at the bow list, you've got loads. You, know, you get you get long bows and stuff, but the only difference is the long bows take longer to draw back and they snipe a bit further. They're worth making, definitely, because they last longer and you know they're not too much of a faff to make. I mean, an iron one is cheap anyway. I tend to just go for leather, or maybe even just a wooden one. Leather's a bit nicer. Tad lasts a bit longer than a wooden one, and the range is just as good. So we'll be making a leather longbow, and then we just need a boatload of arrows, and then enchantments. And hopefully when we make this, it won't be trash. Curse! Could make a reforging table. I mean, we got all the materials for that. I think that's our next thing, really. Alright, let's go steal a <laughs> an anvil from over here. I think I can pick these up now. I did. Avia? Didn't see him. Uh, yeah, can we use these now? We can. Fantastic. I'm gonna nab two of these, take one of them back. Uh, I bet we don't have any obsidian left either. Nope. Alright, I do know where some is, though. It's a good time to test this. How the hell did you get in there? It's like a hamster in a cage. Uh, lazy use of a rock, just gonna fly all the way up to the top of this. Do you have obsidian in you? Yes, you do. Very much low risk in this as well. Yeah, I know there's that massive meteorite impact area. Uh, that has uh, obsidian in it, but it also spawns horrible things all the time. So I'm not going to deal with that until I need to. This is much safer. Alright, Rock, there we go. Sorry, I am very lazy. Oh, I love that bug. Yeah, back up to your original location. I know. Okay, so now we just need a crafting table. Okay, that's everything now. Craft that. Three forging station. Plonk that there. And now we can put this in, and what does this need to repair it with? I assume leather. There we are. There we are. I'll take that. Powerful's better than shit. So now we got that decent-ish bow. We can... Got loads of arrows. That's perfect. Now we just got to do enchantments. Now we can quickly check to see what top enchantment this is going to give us. Probably nothing good. Arrow recovery? Uh, that's okay. The others are trash. I like how it goes from 8 to 30. It's very uh, balanced, that. What about books? Anything good? Advanced knockback. Sharpshooter. Projectile speed and range and reduces in accuracy. That's quite good, but uh, we need that a few times. Gets a bit risky. Good news is we do have a lot of levels available. Plenty of bots of enchanting. Uh, so we got to take things off of other weapons as well. We need a disenchanting table for that. We need magic 20, which... Uh, how far are we? Quite a bit off. Yeah, I uh, kind of, I, uh, oh, I don't know, should we, yeah, we'll invest into that. Uh, we're nearly there, not far off. Yep, you do a whole battle tower and you still can't afford a level 20 enchantment. Yeah. Okay, I think the best course of action then really is to just go kill some more things to get a couple more levels. Could wait till dark, yeah, we could, um, I'm not sure where we could go either. There's a few places. Let's have a look at my map. A few villages. There's another tower up there. I can't remember what that one was. It might just be an old tower. We could check that. Might be a top side one, which would be easy enough. Okay, we'll sleep now. We'll then head to that tower. See if there's a golem on the top of it. Hopefully it's not an underground one again. Top ones are easy because you can just lob it off and just run down and break all the spawners before stuff spawns that is bad. And that should hopefully give us enough levels to not have to worry for a bit. Maybe. Okay, we'll take a couple of arrows this time. 
So we can use that new bow, because hell, even a stock bow is still better than no bow. Ha, <laughs> no bow, it's like hobo. And a bed, just in case we spend a bit longer than planned. Right, rock, uh, come here. Teleport, and it's going to try and fly away. Did you... no? Whoa, you're spazzing out a bit there. So, just a little bit that way. And then we're there. And then hopefully it'll be full of stuff we need. What's this here? Did, is this the tower I did? This is the tower I did. Okay. There are some nasty things that spawn in the Wildlands as well, which we can probably kill for Ender Pearls and stuff. I think. And it's not a nice place to be in general. They do get um, the Black Heart there, I think it's called. That gives you a ring that gives you passive regeneration, which is very useful. Say you run out of healing stuff, you can just hide in a little box where nothing can attack you and you can just heal up for free with no healing items. It's just very slow and I'm not sure if having multiple of them stack. All right, we're here. This is this other village. Had a nether portal if we ever go to the nether, which uh, God forbid. Ooh, more bows and arrows. Yeah, I'll take them. And there's the tower next to a lava lake, which is going to burn this village. To yeah, it's fine. And it is one of these, so do the usual. Oh, no, it broke. Did that mess it up? Oh! Uh, no, no, it didn't. Ah, crap, man. Need to do this quick. Uh, end of pearls. Ooh, XP time. Ah, bugger off. Get out of here. Those arrows are hitting you, and they are just bouncing straight off of you. Hey, Mr. Zombie, can you, like... Not, mate. I'm trying to do this. Just do I take that? We're just gonna go back. I'm also there's another Defiled Lands there. I've never uh, run out my last playthrough. I couldn't find a Defiled Lands for ages. Right, we're literally just gonna land here, dismiss this, and I'm just gonna walk back. I'm not very patient. This is what we wanted. This, because look how many levels that just gave you. It stores 30 levels, which means we can now have Magic 20, which means we can now make the Disenchanting Table, which is. Uh, we can recycle that. Sorry, basic enchanted table, you served your purpose well and did literally nothing. Two emeralds and some dandelion yellow. Gotta go flower picking. Dandelion's done. So it's just, uh, I've forgotten how it does it. Eh. Uh, eh? No? Done it wrong? How do I table? Right, that doesn't need any bookshelves. Just plonk it and now we can feed it items. So say, I want unbreaking two from this bronze hammer, which we don't need. Grab yourself some books. Put one in there, take that. Takes the top enchantment off, so we do lose water aspect, but... You got I'm breaking two now. And that's why next time, after we do dragons and... It might either be next time or the time after. We do dragons and whatnot, we'll go to that dungeon and harvest monsters that have enchanted armor on, because you can stack that all together and get some really good enchantments. Unfortunately, all the other things we've got are kind of rubbish. Projectile protection's all right, we'll nab that. Could check, uh, armor... Thorns? I'll take Thorns off. We've got Lesser Smite. Subject PE2, I will definitely take that. Gives us a nice variety of buffs. That's all we can really take. We've not been very lucky with our enchanted gear that appears. It's all being all very standard. Right, so I'm going to quickly cycle through this enchanting table to hopefully get some decent enchantments. At the bottom, uh, Sharpshooter Advanced Efficiency. We'll take Sharpshooter. Safeguard or Lesser Sharpness? Safeguard is terrible just checking stops blocks from being destroyed no point on that we're getting some pretty terrible enchantments now oh power four i think that's probably quite worth getting that's just more damage and damage is good we'll keep that one in line and then we just got to get a couple more levels so we could just go back to that battle tower murder some things and do that. But hey, I said this video is going to be about enchanting, and by god, I'm going to enchant something. It's not going to be very exciting, but we'll have something. So what I'm going to do, uh, depending, can I put Viper on a bow? Of course you can't. Why wouldn't you? That would be fantastic if you could. Guess you can't enchant, uh, <laughs> crafted equipment. Wow, that's a shame. Looks like we're just going to have to enchant a uh, rapier or something. Now, you know what? There's no point in me wasting enchanting this stuff. This episode is all about getting ready for enchanting. Uh, the next video we can do searching for good enchantments and doing it that way. But I'm seriously out of time in this video. It's flown by, this one. Uh, next time, I'll do I'll do some stuff in my own time. I'll grab grind some levels, do stuff that's uh, kind of grindy and pointless. Like fill the XP tomes and stuff so we can get some better enchantments. But next time, I promise... Dragons, maybe dungeons, depending how quickly we do dragons. Because then we can start getting really good armor. You know, get that to 24 on the sorts. Oh, we can get undershirt. You know what? Buy that. Anywho, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've enjoyed it and you want to see more, 
Leave a like, subscribe uh, if you really enjoy it and want to get this video's early access. There's Patreon and the sorts. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Toodaloos.